With the upcoming project that I have that requires magnetic sensor today, I will do comparison of read switch with hole sensor. Should be easy and let's hope the results of it would be useful to me and also to you. Let's get started. The read switch is an electrical switch operated by an applied magnetic field. It consists of a pair of a ferromagnetic flexible metal plates in a hermetically sealed glass tube. We have two types of read switches. Normally open, here the magnetic field is closing the circuit. There are also normally closed read switches, where electricity flow is interrupted when the magnetic field is applied. Connecting the components is that simple. We connect LED cathode via pull-up resistor to ground and LED anode to Arduino analog pin 3. Then we connect ground and 5 volts to the corresponding pins of read switch. And finally, the read switch data pin goes to Arduino digital pin 13. Let's connect all the components on the breadboard. Code is also as easy as it gets. We declare LED and read switch pins. In setup we set LED pin as output and read switch pin as input. Serial port is opened so we can monitor the read switch readings. In main loop we send the read switch reading to the serial monitor. Then we check the red value and if it is zero, meaning the magnetic field was applied, we send high signal to LED pin to light up the LED. Otherwise we send low signal to turn the LED off. Let's see the read switch in action. You can see that when the magnet comes near the sensor, we read low signal at pin 13. And when we move the magnet away, the signal changes to high. Please note that LED lits regardless of which magnet pole we bring near the sensor. It lits for both north and south poles when the magnet is in close proximity. It would be all great if it was not for one little problem. I notice that every now and then read switch does not release and the reading at pin 13 remains low even though we removed the magnet. Not sure if this is the flow of the cheap sensors, but it happens for all the ones that I have and tested. This is a bit of a problem for me. Now let's look at the alternative to read switches, hole sensors. A hole effect sensor is a device that is used to measure the magnitude of the magnetic field. Its output voltage is directly proportional to the magnetic field strength through it. However, the SparkFun module we have for this test is not measuring the strength, it just returns low or high signals depending on whether the sensor detects magnetic field or not. How does it work? A thin strip of metal has a current applied along it. In the presence of a magnetic field, the electrons in the metal strips are deflected towards one edge, producing a voltage difference across the short side of the strip. This voltage is measured to detect magnetic field. The sensor we test, just like read switch, produces low signal when we put magnet in close proximity and high signal when we retract it. We connect the whole sensor in exactly the same way. Manufacturers of both parts did not make my life easier, as pins are wrong way around. So let's do quick corrections to the wiring. From this layout, it is more convenient for me to use analog pin 4 for connecting whole sensor data pin. Let's update the code with the new sensor pin name and the number. Let's put whole sensors through the test.
It works. We read low signal when magnet is closed by and high when we move the magnet away. One thing we notice is that the whole sensor is sensitive to magnet polarity. LED lights up only when we bring the south pole close to the front of the sensor and north pole to the back of the sensor. In other cases we read high signal on analog pin 4 and the LED remains off. So now off to the verdict. Each component has its benefits. Read switches do not need power to work, whereas hole switches do. Hole switches always draw small amounts of current and require current to operate. For me, reliability of the read switches was a problem. I am sure it might have been an issue with just the type of sensor I was testing, but for me, this tips the scales and I'll have to go with hole sensors. Please let me know your thoughts on this. As always, if you like this video, do what you need to do. Until next time.